I'm going to use this optional assignment in OWL uh, 910A to describe what happens to water and buffers when an acid or a base um, is added. So on the left here is a beaker with pure water and we're going to add some acid, 10 mils of acid. The pH is going to drop drastically down to 1. And if we have the same quantity of base, it shouldn't bring us back close to 7. And if we add more base, it's going to skyrocket the pH up close to 13. So water, pure water, is considered unbuffered. So the pH will change drastically with small amounts of acid or base. Now here's a solution of salt, just sodium chloride. And salt is not a buffer, so we will not attempt to maintain a pH of a water solution. So we could add acid and the same crazy effect will happen, we'll drop the pH drastically. And we'll add base to bring it back to neutral and we'll add more base and we'll see it skyrocket drastically. Now if we come over here to a solution that's buffered, and the buffer is acetic acid with its conjugate base acetate, or the complete compound sodium acetate. Because of the pKa of this acid, the buffer is set at 4.74. And this is because there are equal amounts of weak acid and conjugate base. Now let's add some acid, the same amount of acid as we added to the water and the salt solution. And we see that the pH changed oh so slightly from 4.74 to 4.65. So the buffer is doing its job. And if we add some base, we see that the pH is back to normal. And if we add a little more base, the pH goes up oh so slightly. So we see the same trend occurring in all three of these solutions. Add base, the pH goes up. Add acid, the pH goes down. But the big difference is that the pH change is very, very small in a buffered solution as opposed to pure water.